Uh, June Jones, the new head coach at SMU, and we're, we're talking run and shoot, which I, I can promise you as an old defensive coach is one of the two toughest offenses to defend along with the wishbone. So I, I know a lot of these uh, defensive coaches in Conference USA are nervous right now about the <laughs> run and shoot. But I think the first thing we want to do is just talk about the concept, a lot of offenses, variable formations, mm -hmm. give you a lot of different formation packages. In the run and shoot, your four lines, and really two formations. Could you just take us through the two formations we that are, you guys we are use? Basically, and, and uh, just to show you how simple we are, uh, this is our base formation. In fact, we don't even have a name for that. When we come out of the huddle, if I don't say anything, that's how they line up. And uh, the only other, the only other thing that we do, the only other thing that we do, is call trips right and trips trips left so that being trips right yeah but let just take me through this so this is just two by two mm -hmm. two wide receivers balanced on each side quarterback in the shotgun running back offset and this is three wide receivers to one side and one on the back side but take me through also not a lot of motion you know do, do you take in motion receivers from two by two to three by one and if you do, why? Or if you don't, why don't you believe in doing? You know, we used to we used to do that a lot. And that was a base part of it. Probably when when uh, uh, it first came in, we would run. Mouse would uh, when he first put this in, we would run motion to try to, to see whether it was man or zone. You know, what type of man, all those type of things. By and large, basically, our offense is designed to read uh, coverage on the snap of the football, so you have the right thing called every time. Yeah, and the, it, it, and also crowd noise, all those things. Defense is shifting before the ball snap. Oh, that's does not affect yeah. any mechanics of your offense. So you're going to snap the football, and then convert routes, and the quarterback makes decisions on what the defense ends up in after the ball. Snap. No question. That's that's basically what we do. Now, June, if you could just take us through the first route that you implement in the run and shoot in spring practice. Basically, we're going to take a uh, split, uh, nor what we call a normal split, and he has a forced outside release. This guy here is going to take a jab step, put it in the flat, and build it at three to five, five yards. He's also going to run off. Now, the uh, middle receiver is going to read the coverage, and he has one of probably six or seven options. Uh, the first of which is to go vertical up the field and then read the coverage. If it goes to three deep, then he's going to widen to the, whoever the flat defender is and slip him on the inside part and look for the football. Well, and let me crease. stop you right there because you brought up something. <coughs> Shotgun snap. Mm -hmm. This is a three deep coverage where they have three deep players. How does the quarterback know that it is three deep. I mean, is the quarterback looking at the same thing that the receivers are looking at, or is the quarterback looking at one specific thing to realize it is three deep? Well, he has to look at the, the whoever he anticipates the flat defender to be to begin with, and there's of course there's a couple different ways to get that. The stub could be the flat defender, and then he's down right. replacing him. So he he has to find whoever that is, just like he does. Yeah. Uh, he's going to do that. So as he catches snap. as he catches the shotgun snap, right. As soon as he catches the ball, or his, his eyes going to who he thinks is the flat defender. Right, exactly. And then that guy will dictate. It, on, 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 sometimes they'll show you two or four, and then that guy kicks down. Right. So he's got to see all that. Right. If that safety goes back, then he knows he goes to the next guy to read. Right. The corner becomes the flat defender. Right. As the route starts, the outside receiver has the takeoff. Mm -hmm. The inside receiver has the flat. Right. Just take me through the number two receiver and the choices he has based on how that strong safety plays. But basically, it's, uh, on just 3 deep zone, it's going to be that or that. We're either going to catch it right there or that or that. I mean, basically, we're going to just keep moving to holes. Regardless of how they play cover three, you're going to have an answer. We should have a hole. Yeah. All right, this is uh, the go route uh, that we just diagrammed, and this is going to the left. And uh, as you can see, we're in trips to the left and uh, just talking about coverage. We're not sure if this is going to be man at this point or three deep or two deep, but now it's going to clear up on the snap of the ball as our quarterback and our slot receiver running up the seam is going to read the flat defender who becomes the strong safety. And as you can see, the strong safety is going to either take one or two. He's either going to take the seam or he's going to take the flat. 
And in this case, he took the flat, and uh, the quarterback on his four-step going to the left delivers the football. He knows to look as soon as he clears that guy. Right. He's not going to look for the ball prior to that. Right. So as he goes up the field, he gets a feel, and as he clears the flat defender, his eyes come back to the quarterback. All things equal, would you rather have a team blitz you? Or would you rather have a team defend you? You block? know, we've seen everything. And we've seen, we've played, uh, you know, teams that blitzed us the whole game. And we've scored a lot of points. And we played zone the whole game right. and scored a lot of points. Uh, I think if I, I had my druthers, I'd rather have you come after us. Yeah. Because when you miss the tackle, it's a touchdown. What's up, folks? NYK31 here. Uh, I could listen to June Jones all day talk, run and shoot football. It's a beautiful thing. These are um, some real life cutouts of the um, Go concept, the Go route, however you want to label it. And of course, you know, offenses don't remain static, they evolve over time. The run and shoot is no different. This is mostly from under center. Most of this footage is from the uh, mid to late 90s. But the concepts remain the same. The, um, the shoot has gone a lot more shotgun and pistol oriented. But um, in Madden, you have more than enough formations to work with to do it out of both shotgun and under center. And I'll be showing some demo footage after these clips are done. Just fooling around with the, with the uh, demo on, def on the all pro difficulty level. And fooling around with various formations, motion, and making my pre snap and post snap reads and running some go route. So you'll see that in about a minute or so. I'm not going to do too many in depth uh, demo impressions because. Most of what has been said, I pretty much agree with as far as the pros and some of the cons. So, I'm not going to just repeat what other people have said. Overall, it's pretty impressive. The physics effects are about what I expected, given this is the... Um, first go around of it. I had one sequence that I really liked where I was stepping up in the pocket and Justin Smith had pushed one of my offensive linemen back and I stepped up right into my offensive lineman which knocked Eli off balance. He started to stumble and I think it was um, I think it was what's his name Brooks, not um, Alden Smith. The name of the um, OLB on the opposite side escapes me right now, but um, I think it's Ahmad Brooks. Came in and mopped it up. Got a really nice sequence. So you see some pretty good stuff out of it. Heck of a lot better. A heck of a lot better than um, what we saw at a bat breaker where a guy can hit you with his pinky nail and it can cause all kinds of havoc. So it seems to be pretty nicely balanced. But the game will be upon us in a few days and I'll be doing stuff like this as well as playing in the online leagues. I'm setting myself up for some hair pulling with the Jets and also with the Raiders. I'll be using the Jets again in the OS Vets and the Raiders in Primetime Sim League. I've always wanted to use the Raiders in the online league, so I finally have a chance. I've always liked Carson Palmer and, you know, they're the Raiders. <laughs> You gotta like a team with its own theme song. So, I'll let you guys sit back and watch this, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.
Jim, the coaches tell us the same thing every week about defenses. Can we hold them to field goal tries and not give up the touchdowns? Here we are. They got more than a seven-point lead. Can you hold them till a field goal try? Well, we'll find out. A little dime package here for the defense. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Third and ten. Going across the middle. He fires it in there tight. Hold on a minute. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Zebra, zebra. Second down and nine. Looking to the right side and throwing. Giants in for the score. Short passes are just as important as the long passes down the field. This time, a short, accurate pass. Look what it leads to. All those yards after the catch. Nice run, nice catch. Touchdown. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. They'll go shotgun here. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That'll stop the play right there. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. down coming up the play clock's running down dropping back to throw the reception easy wide open well that time the short pass turned into good yardage just because look at the defense nobody hustles nobody there to make the tackle Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. Hakeem Nix hauls it in. Games 16. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. 